Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you exactly why you should not buy Iconic Masters. What are we looking at? We're looking at a supermarket. Let me repeat this again, a supermarket, kind of like Walmart, but up north, I assume. We don't have any down here in Texas, but I have done some homework and it looks like they're just a giant Walmart. And the giant Walmart now collects or carries Iconic Masters, which is 50% off. Buy one, get one 50% off. So not only does it carry a Master Series, and we assume that Walmart and Target, Kmart, I don't know, Kmart's kind of bad. Let's leave Kmart out. Barnes & Noble's, Toys R Us will soon carry this exact package. You don't make this package without wanting to put it in Walmart. Walmart and Target and Barnes & Noble's, they already have sales on packs, which Wizards of the Coast promotes heavily. Now the fact is, Master Series, which have been reserved most for game stores only, are now being found in supermarkets for buy one, get one, 50% off. That is insane. Like, the only advantage your game store really has in terms of product is that they have Master Series. My local game store that I go to that still carries magic, not everyone carries magic anymore. They are selling boxes for retail, $24.99 or $249.99. How are they going to compete against a supermarket like Walmart? And this is one of the worst decisions I have ever seen. This will tank a store so fast. If, they have to, if a store has to compete against Walmart, they will lose. They will lose every single time. So this store has doesn't have Commander 2016. It had some old booster packs that are not selling. And he saw Iconic Masters. Free packs for $35.99 with the buy one, get one off or 50% off. That is $26 for free packs or $9 a pack, $2.18 a box. So it's not the fact that it's super cheap. It's the fact that this Walmart-like entity has a master series that should set all types of, of alarms on if you are a game store because you no longer have a unique monopoly over this so the price point you can always do better but 218 a box most stores in houston are not selling for 218 box i can list all of them here and there's maybe one or two that are selling for a good under 200. online yeah you're getting it for 160 online which is fine because it's online, right? You're going to go for the cheapest price anyway. But at a big local retailer, it's insane. So to Magic needs local game stores to do well. It needs places for people to meet and play Magic and socialize. This is a slap in the face for every game store that offers that for the Magic players for free. Wizard of Coast doesn't pay them doesn't pay the employee time. It doesn't pay the electricity bill. It doesn't pay the water bill. It doesn't pay, it does not pay anything for a store to have f and If your store has Friday Night Magic, they're doing it because they love you guys. They love the community, not because it's profitable. And people are like, oh, what if I buy ice cream? I mean, come on guys, you know better than that. It's an ice cream. How much money can you possibly eat? How many ice creams are you gonna possibly eat in one night? So it's pretty much 25% off. You can buy packs for 160 or you can buy boxes for 160 online quite easily. The average price that I understand that distributor is charging is around 140, maybe slightly less. It does not give much room for stores to make money and especially if a store has to compete against a Walmart-like entity. It's only about a matter of time before Walmart tells Wizard of the Coast and Hasbro, look, dudes, we carry all your games. Do you want us to discontinue Monopoly? Do you want us to discontinue My Little Pony? Do you want us to discontinue Transformers? If not, then you have to sell us Masters. You have to sell us from the vault. You have to sell us everything that you're giving to that local game store. We want it, and we want to make money from it. And that's what's going to happen. Uh, if you don't believe Walmart's going to carry Master Series when this random store up north is, 
I don't know what to tell you because it's only about a matter of time from Walmart, Target. It used to be, and this is a change. I mean, the change, I'm going to just say, it starts out with Tolarian Community College saying that you cannot play Magic at your Walmart. You should support your local game store. He no longer says this. Wizard of Coast no longer says this. In lieu of short-term profits, right, aligning themselves with Walmart and this company, which is a regional American super center chain with a corporate headquarters in Michigan, uh, as half of the company's 200 stores are located in Michigan, and there's some in Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Wisconsin, and the chain is number 19 on the Forbes 2015 American Largest Private. This is not like a mom and pop local game store, okay? This is a huge supermarket with 200 stores. And they're discounting Iconic Masters as we speak. How is your local game store supposed to sell it for 240 Because that's what my local game store wants to sell it for, 240 Because they want to make 100 bucks a box and they're not going to do it. Um, they need to keep the lights on, they need to keep the employees paid, and there's no way, there's no way this is happening. Rest in peace, because, like, most players do not care enough about their local game store to pay that extra premium. They're going to go to Walmart, they're going to go to this store, and it's sad. You know, it's sad. Now, I don't know what Wizard of the Coast is doing. And I don't know if they're being forced into it. I don't think so. I think it's all about the money. It's all about greed. What you have to understand about Wizard of the Coast and about YouTubers and about everything, everybody involved in magic, they're all after the money. The money. That's why no one says support your local game store anymore because there's no money. Your local game store is not paying your favorite YouTuber to promote them. Yeah, I mean, I've seen such a big shift in our YouTube community <sighs> between like, okay, everyone should support their local game stores to know, support this store that's paying me money that if you buy something from this store, I get a direct kickback. And that is what Wizard of the Coast is doing. Wizard of the Coast is saying, screw local game stores that are providing places for people to hang out, socialize, gather, make new friends. Let's go with Walmart. Let's go with Target. Let's... This packaging scares the hell, it should scare the hell out of local game stores. Because this packaging is meant to be sold at Walmart, Target, Walgreens, anywhere, right? Look at the packaging. This packaging does not exist at your local game store, right? This packaging normally exists at the big chains because it's mass produced. The card quality is incredibly poor. They have not fixed that issue yet. The player base is losing and bleeding heavily. And what they do is they give something that have typically been a reward for local game storage for having a place, having a beacon to have people play Magic. Now it's going to Walmart. I am baffled, but at the same time, I'm not baffled because everything comes down to monies, pennies and cents, right? If someone pays you to say that their store is the greatest and they should, they're sponsoring the video, you don't talk, talk about your local game stores anymore because that's a disinterest. You would be offending that person paying you. Walmart is the same way. Walmart is saying, hey, Hasbro, we carry all your lines of toys. You need us. Now, we want the master product because we heard that it sells well. And we want discounts on everything. It's, it's really embarrassing. Um, I don't know what else to say. Anyway, bye guys.